Wonderful baby cucumbers. Did you know that 98% of people only buy Bitcoin because they think it's going to $1 million. That's true. You know this by now. You have to have an appreciation for this because you need a competitive edge over the rest of the market. That's why you listen to me. Like, subscribe, everybody, and all friends. I appreciate every single one of you every day. We are here to shock the algorithm. You know that it triggers everybody when we say you're only here for price go up. Price go up is synonymous with Metcalf's law and the adoption. It's the same thing. So when we say price going up, we also mean, I'm going to do an arrow connecting each other. It also means a number of people in the network going up. It is the same thing. So yes, it's a bit crude. It's a bit raw to say it, but that's what we mean. They mean the same thing. When we say we're here for price go up, you're also saying, I want the network to get bigger. I want to be in something that's valuable in the future to other people. That's what we're mostly here for. That's what the market is. That's how capitalism is working. That's how everybody's trying to beat each other in the game of speculation. All right, so this is the Bitcoin maxi camp. The Bitcoin camp, everybody holding Bitcoin. What do they believe in? One million dollars, okay? Now, we're going to see as well. What about a coin called Ethereum? Now, Ethereum, why are people holding it? They think Ethereum is going to flip Bitcoin and go to $20,000. Only 2% of people care about the technology. You see, friends, when we look at the chart, you can see this right now. So people are in Bitcoin. Everybody expects $1 million, much, much higher than potentially where the Black BlackBerry, then they fight you phase might turn out to play out. You know, I see a lot of forecasts out there, and that's okay. Everybody's just guessing really at the end of the day. A lot of people are like really adamant that Bitcoin hits between 100 to 200K. Look, here's the thing, man. A lot of people, they stop at 100K. They go, Bitcoin's going to be 100K, 150K. Well, in every bear market, it gets clobbered. You know, how much did it drop in our bear market? Okay, the recent one, yeah, it dropped 77%. All right, if Bitcoin hits 100K, where's the next stop, friends? 70%? You know, if you drop 70% from 100K, you're back down to 30K? That's... I'm sorry, but that's a joke. That's a non-funny joke. If you go sideways, you look at this. This is 61 months going sideways. This is 1,850 days. For technology that's meant to be number go up, that ain't very number go up at all. What about ETH BTC? Everybody believes that 0.16 on the ratio will be cleared. That is when Ethereum flips Bitcoin. Now, it has better tokenomics, but maybe the trading gods the overlords, maybe they're going to have to make us wait a little bit longer. You see, everybody's in the same trap, friends. Everybody but us because we know what's up. Now, I hope, I pray Ethereum goes 10, 20,000. Woohoo, I would pray for that. Okay, but I just want you to know everybody's talking about 20K. They're like, yep, yeah, 20K. Why 20K? So if you want to know, friends, at about 9K and around here, Ethereum is about 1 trillion market cap. So at 18K, it's about 2 trillion. So that's how people are kind of conceptualizing it. If Bitcoin is 100K, that's 2 trillion. And if Ethereum is 18,000 to 19,000, that's also about 2 trillion. That's a lot of money coming into the industry. I would love that to come in. I would love, and don't forget, it's not going to just go and just sit there. It's going to go up and it's going to rotate literally everywhere. But we know diminishing gains. Ethereum is now in a third cycle curse. There's a lot of things you have to be careful of. And we already know 2% of people actually care about the technology. You know, when you hear this, what does it actually mean, friends? So I get asked all the time, like, when you say caring about the tech, not caring, like, what does it actually mean? The answer is this. Just because something is centralized doesn't mean people don't care. People are like, people are going to give it any weight. They don't care. We're here for price co-op. So people will sacrifice a lot of decentralization just for the potential of high reward. That's what we're here for. Because when does decentralization actually matter? It's if the government is specifically trying to attack 24-7 for most of the time. That's when we actually care. And it's rational response. It's the same thing. So people will sacrifice this. We already know this. That's why a lot of the Bitcoin camp, a lot of Bitcoin maxi camp, they're like stuck in the old days. They really think, so when we look at this Bitcoin chart, when I show you the Bitcoin chart, I'm seeing a story here play out because you have your straight posture, you have your fluffy slippers on, and we are learning and listening to the language of the market. Yes, there was once upon a time, Bitcoin used to go up an enormous amount, 20,000 X from here, 600X from here, 100X from here, 20X from here. What if we only get the little poopy 5X from here? 
in the early days because Bitcoin was decentralized, censorship resistant, immutability, all these like cool talking points. Now the price has slowed down. Market doesn't care, friends. We've exhausted a lot of the network effects that were going to join this network based off decentralization. This is why it's very obvious to us coming in, but people holding onto this narrative because they're too scared to deploy elsewhere, those are the people who are going to get destroyed the most, you know, because it's not like the S&P 500 where some bad coins, bad stocks go down, but the S&P keeps screaming up because the, S the stock market's a Ponzi. People are forced to DCA buy with their actual wages. The government puts a gun to everybody's head, says, hey, your 401k, your superannuation, you have to auto buy. We don't have that luxury in crypto yet, but when we do, it's too late. So why are people continuing to do this? Well, it's obvious, right? Look at this. If you want to onboard people, all they want to hear is a giant price target. That's actually it. If you're in Bitcoin, they want to talk about Bitcoin going a million dollars because the US dollar has no bottom because they're going to do infinite printing because all this game theory, that's what everybody wants to hear. It's the same thing with Ethereum. They're going to say, well, Ethereum accrues all the value. It's going to flip Bitcoin because we do token burning and yield and the decentralization, all this stuff. They all throw it out there. But at the end of the day, we know market cap matters, liquidity matters. We know BlackBerry, we know the lizards are coming after this. We know they're trying to take us down in the then they fight you face. That's why we here got this cute little spear ready to take on the world. And when we go through the comments, a lot of people, a lot of you, my baby dolls, are right on point. A lot of people talking about Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X. Yes, I also do love Chainlink. A lot of the other innovations in crypto, I don't know how high they're going to go, friends. It all depends on how much risk you're willing to take. You ought to speak to a financial advisor and see what they say about this stuff because at the end of the day, there's a risk curve. Sure, yeah, Bitcoin might suck, but if your clip is, if you have five and a half million, eh, it ain't so bad because, yeah, you're happy with the 2X. You know, you're happy with the 2X. People with five and a half million, they're happy with the 2X. But if you've got five and a half K or you've only got 50K, you ain't retiring in Bitcoin in these 10 years, okay? Maybe it's 300K by the end of this decade. You still ain't retired. And the inflation's a scam and they're doing the paper ETF. There's a lot of things we've got to think about. You have to get a competitive edge. I've seen markets, when markets form like this, Everyone's trying to scam each other at every time. It's capitalism. This is the game. But you got to get ahead of everybody else. Buying the blue chip is not getting ahead. Buying the blue chip is getting at the same speed as everybody else. And you can't win that way. So that's why when I come across information, unique information, right? I thought this was very funny and cool, right? So this is regarding Richard Hart. And this is very interesting, right? So funny to think. There's anti-Richard Hart propaganda. It all started from this one Reddit soy boy relentlessly spamming fake lies on the Hex launch. This is interesting. Okay, so it's fantastic. I get to share information here with you. So a lot of people, you don't get this info by a chart, man. You used to look at chart up, down, or it doesn't tell you anything. Oh, the RSI is cheap. Oh, this guy said this. It doesn't matter. Me actually to share with you. When there's information propagated out there, like if you can find out where it came from, then you have a competitive advantage over the average poopy head because they've clicked sell because they believe it. But literally, you're like, wait a minute. What if the reason that they're selling is not actually the reason they should be selling because it doesn't even exist, okay? So I even have here, right? So look at this, the same. So Lee Abamonte, okay? Shout out this person. Ugh, definitely a neck beard, this guy. Definitely drinks soy or girl, whatever it is. Look at this. Multiple posts wanted 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 just over and over this was on the hex launch by the way so if you want to go back in time and just see okay genius how much did you miss out because of your triple wanted posts congratulations you missed out on 3800x to the high you get a double on that 7600x with your staking and you know what okay maybe you fumbled it let's divide that by 20 Let's divide 7,600x by 20. That's how bad you are, friends. You're not. You're only going to get 1 20th of that return. Surprise. Okay, this this person, this neckbeard soy drinker, this cuck, still missed out on 380x. Like, you just, that's why this information, you got to absorb it, but you have to wrestle with how much of the fundamentals does it really impact, okay? Are you affected emotionally with what you think or is the network effect being impacted? This is what you want to look at when it comes to these. So they even found this person's history. There's a lot of these like weird sexual fetish stuff, all these like different, you know, like different like adult material here. Like this, this is the type of person who was missing out on a 380X. So while they were fighting something, if they looked, it's just funny friends. You know, this person, this dude that you just said, you know what? It might be wrong. I might be right. How about I just throw in a thousand bucks? Okay, yeah, that would have got three hundred eighty grand 
Worst case. Or maybe 200 bucks. Okay, but you know, it went 7,600x. You'd be have one, one and a half million. Just 200 bucks if they did their research. Instead, what do they do? Go to Reddit with the other fellow soul boys and go, fad, fad, fad. So it is what it is. Okay. I'm not here. I don't reply to these people. You, you shouldn't either. This is nothing. This is people simply describing the color of the monthly candle in front of you. All right. And look, shout out to Mr. NCAP Hexagon. Look, even mentioning this person making the fake lies. Look, this person said, the message cuts off about this liar saying he spoke to an FBI agent in Miami about Hex. He's lying his booty off. For starters, the South Florida FBI building is in Marama, which is in a broad country. So look, do you see what I mean, friends? This information, I understand crypto, yes, because the government does not have our backseat. It's the Wild West. But that's why there's opportunity here. You don't get this in the stonk market. You don't see someone saying, you know, Apple apparently is going to like start doing some weird stuff. They're going to start, you know, going the blue hair way with the Apple phone and stuff. You're not going to hear that. And then, and then you're not going to see one person spread the FUD and then the market sell it down 90% and you go, wait a minute, I've discovered information that the person who spread that FUD is actually a psychopath, schizophrenic cuck, and I'm going to take the opposite approach of that. You're not going to get this opportunity, friends. The market's too smart out there. With the stock market, there's just too much money sloshing around. People actually do their homework, but in crypto, they don't. That's why there's opportunity here. And speaking of opportunity, what a stark contrast from the 1000x calls at the top. So just to bring you back here, when Pulsion was launching around here, friends, I remember I remember making my video. Now, I just want to show you on my Kind Baby Doll catalog page of my videos, I made a video saying, I think PulseX can do 49x, so 50x from day one sacrifice. Boy, oh boy, did the crowd slap me down for that. that was, I did not expect that. I was like, I was like, you know, 50x is just conservative. I'm just trying to look out for you. Maybe it can go to 200x, but 50x, okay? Now everybody is begging for break even. Oh my gosh, a stark difference. 50x from day one sec. By the way, if you do the non-origin address market cap for that, friends, the numbers get they get too big, bro. They get so look, if you do 50x from day one sacrifice, you you get to numbers very large now. Because you're starting to get if you if you match 50x from day one sec, 50 to 100 x for pulse x, and then you match that same equivalent to the ratio for pulse and then e hex and p hex. You start to get in the half a trillion valuation, which that's non-origin address. Now, I know people are going to say, oh, market cap doesn't matter. Okay, we well, can go on the left-hand side and I'll tell you, in my world, market cap matters. So we're going to go through my world, all right? So in this world, half a trillion is big, friends. Ethereum is about 220 today. So how are we in 24 months going to take any project to 2x Ethereum's size today? That's that's something you got to think about. Now, what actually happened? Obviously, we capitulated. We capitulated down. And there was a stark contrast, contrast friends. Everybody was really happy, really psyched. And now I'm getting this weird, horror, absolutely scary type of clown. Like, look at this girl, look at this psycho. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. You see this scary? So someone sent it to me. Look, it's talking about a reset. I ever wish you could just restart? Yeah, these weird clown stuff, friends. So it's just why I love this. This spooky little video is this is literally, okay, this is like you put on a, on a, on a linear chart. So everybody thought, well, like, wow, here we go. Green, green, green. This is it. We're coming back. We're coming back. And then pfft, you see this? Weird clown stuff starts coming at the lows, okay? The weird clown stuff does not start coming when the green candles are here. So these are reflections of everybody's emotions, all right? So this is why you got to use these to your advantage, all right? So if you buy when the weird clown horror show starts coming in on like other coins, I'm not telling you to buy anything, all right? I'm just telling you right now. It's usually a sign people have lost their mind. And by the way, when this video was sent, okay? By the time you watch this video, when this video was sent, we started recovering up as well. We started having this tiny little bounce off the lows. So that was very funny as well. Like, woohoo. You know, it's just, it's just everyone's lost their minds. It's, this is what happens, friends. Everyone loses their minds when the candles go down. It's just, it's fascinating to see that this the market's a great mechanism to price stuff into the future when we think things won't matter or when they do matter. It always surprises you. I love, by the way, I went through the comments as well with this little clown freak girl and half the comments are, <laughs> you guys... You guys are a reflection of me. Half the comments are saying it's freaky. The other half are saying the girl's pretty hot. So <laughs> I love you guys. This is 
This is how you make it through, friends. You don't make it through by listening to someone who says, you know what's a good idea? You should sell all your bags and go buy the blue chip right now. Okay, you don't make it like that, friends. That's not how, that's not, no one in the history of markets has ever made it like that. You stick to the plan. What was the plan? Plans, you got to make it to 2025. Screw 2024, it was always going to happen. Okay, you make it to 2025. And that's why at the end of the day, okay, there is an undertone. Okay, there's a bullish undertone wherever we go. Think about this. Okay, so we're going to look at macro now. The undertone macro, Bitcoin, Ethereum, everything. The last time the US of A had enormous debt to GDP like today, it was World War II, right? And they actually, the central bank, the US Fed at the time, they did a strategy. Now, because it was easier to manipulate the masses back then, they only had to control the newspapers. They didn't have to control much, but they did not let the people know what was going on. So just to let you know, inflation was running super hot. They let inflation run like 11% per year for a decade. It was ridiculous. I'm not making this up. Like literally 11 or 15% per year, friends. By the end of the decade, you lost half of the US dollar purchasing power. So what the government did was they inflated the debt away. So isn't that crazy? And this is what's happening right now. So this is the actual effects of it by the end. So they held interest rates at near zero. And then they did yield curve control, okay? So they put the long end below 2.5%, okay? And look at this. Inflation at one point was 19%. And this is what happened, okay? So if you lived every day of that, you had no idea what was going on. You look like the, the, the US Fed was saying, oh, we're going to stop inflation. No, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. But if you just look at the snapshot of that decade, you look at it in one second, you go, oh, the worst thing to do was being fiat. That's the conclusion here. And ultimately, we're at the same path now. Now, I understand interest rates are in a different position, but I'll tell you right now, it's a ticking time bomb. Uh, look, friends, I know a lot of stuff about the universe. There's a lot of weird, sprinkly unicorns, fairy dust, cosmos, a lot of simulation stuff going on out there. I'm telling you right now, we're in the then they fight you face, okay? They're trying to fight us. It's very obvious they put interest rates up to bring back sanctity and respect to the US dollar so they can crush crypto. It's very obvious, but I'll tell you right now, crypto, we are all psychopaths. You saw that little clown freak. Okay, we're all psychopaths here. We're schizophrenic. You can't shake us out. Minus 99%, we're still here. The network is more important than this little dollar value because of things like cults and community and everything else out there that I've explained in my other videos. That's why I do believe, okay, you hold treasuries and you hold your cash for this, this decade, you're going to be in the poop up. You might, you're going to lose a lot of purchasing power. It's going to happen slowly. It's going to happen weird times. It's going to be periods. It's going to go fast. But when you look back at the end of 10 years, the people who got conned the most were people who thought that the central banks finally had their backs. You know who will always have your back. That's right. Your friend saw me right here. Like, subscribe, but what an all to mom and dad. We're still going to make it. And of course, if we have nothing in the fridge, friends, we're going to eat the flag tonight. I'm going to catch you in the next one.